Hi, you've tuned in to Impact with Kenny Anderson. I am obviously not Kenny Anderson. I have the honor and pleasure, however, of sitting in for this special segment to interview him uh, as he is our Director of Multicultural Affairs about a special uh, screening that's going to take place that we hope that everyone will try and take part in. So, Kenny, welcome to your own show. <laughs> well, thank you, Jeanette. It's good to be here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really honored to be here sitting in for you, but I'm really honored to be a part of this project. I have my tickets. I'm ready to go. Let's talk about the whole kindness uh, is contagious film screening, but first the umbrella that this falls under, the, the bigger picture campaign. That's right. The Office of Multicultural Affairs back in September 2013 launched an initiative called Compassionate Huntsville. We were challenged with the notion of what if people in our community just treated people kindly? What if you just treated people like you wanted them to be treated mm -hmm. or wanted yourself to be treated? That's the golden rule, pretty simple. And so we launched on a campaign through the Charter for Compassion out of Seattle, Washington, and we became a compassionate city. In title, what that meant was that we aspirationally felt that this is a city that is a high-tech community, that rates number one in all these different categories. It's a great place for family, great place for people to come, mm -hmm. live, work, and play. Why can't we also be known for being compassionate people, kind people who treat people with a sense of humanity? And so after we launched the campaign in 2013, we've just been gathering a coalition of people around the community, um, really people that are doing compassionate things already. We didn't think that we had a new thing. Mm -hmm. We just simply wanted more of what we believe this community is capable of being, and that's compassionate and caring. Mm -hmm. And so we launched uh, or linked up with uh, the United Way of Madison County. We mm -hmm. linked up with um, Phoenix Industries. We linked up with just a lot of different community in, um, initiatives and agencies that are already doing compassionate things and said, why don't we do more of that? And so for the last almost two years now, that's what we've been focusing on, building our coalition, helping people understand why we're doing it, and then inviting them to be a part of the process. As you have been, uh, you know, your background, you've studied behavior, you've looked at people, you understand the dynamics of helping bridge uh, different groups, whether it culturally, ethnicities. Well, what have you seen in, as far as this campaign, as far as tangible results? Because I think when we talk about things like kindness and happiness, and sometimes we, we, we just think in terms of fluffy, kind of flowy words, and we are not really sure about the tangible results of those things. What can you share that you say, you say, you know what, this campaign has helped in this way? Well, the first thing that we wanted to do was find out what's going on in our community. We wanted to find out where are the places in our community that perhaps people are doing what we anticipate can be done. Mm -hmm. We want to find out where are those bridges that are already being crossed and then where are the gaps that we can mm -hmm. probably address uh, through more community awareness, through activism, uh, through just making people aware that there is an entity in our community that wants to see a better community. And so the first thing we learned was that there are people that really care, that people that, that are really interested, that we have one of the most compassionate philanthropic communities around. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime there's a crisis, people run to the table and say, what can I do? In fact, I've been in situations where I've seen people turned away because mm. there were so many hands on deck Trying that wanted to, to be a part of the process. But we didn't want to stop there. We wanted to say that although we're doing good, we can definitely do better. Mm -hmm. Who's not being represented? Who's not uh, participating in ways that they can. What resources are still out there that need to be a part of this process? And so that was part of our learning experience as well. And so we've really spent the first year and a half trying to assess the territory. Now we're beginning to um, move into the community and through this film screening, uh, begin letting people know why we're here mm -hmm. and let them know how they can be a part of the process too. I will give you one of the most tangible ways that, mm -hmm. that we know uh, this thing can work. Okay. Uh, the United Way of Madison County has a volunteer center, mm -hmm. and they have over 800 volunteers right now that are signed up across our city who are interested in doing various things to help this community be a better place. Mm -hmm. Well, two years ago, that was a much lower number, and we know that through all of the work that they're doing and some of the 29 agencies that they work with, that there are a lot of people coming on board trying to find out how they can be helpful also. 
Another reason I, I was excited to talk to you about the screening is because I do believe, and, and I know you do too, that it starts with individuals making a change, a movement for change, starts with one person. So, you know, everybody can do one random act of kindness. And as we find out in this documentary, kindness is contagious. <laughs> uh, major players in this, it's a feel-good documentary, as they describe it, by David Gass, and it's narrated by Catherine Ryan Hyde, which some of you may know her as uh, the best-selling author. She uh, she was responsible for the, screen, the, the content behind the movie Pay It Forward, which is about random acts of kindness going right. forward and the rippling effect of those things. Mm -hmm. um, what are you looking forward to in, you know, getting this cross-section of Huntsvillians and even, you know, folks in, in the county to come and see this screening of this type of documentary? I think I'm like you. I think everybody can do something. Right. I think that's where you start. You don't look to some edict or some legislation or some mandate to say, you must do something different, you must do something better. You look at yourself first. You recognize that you've benefited from someone's help in life. You recognize that there's a lot of opportunity within you because of the skill set that you may have. Mm -hmm. You recognize that everybody who chooses to make an investment in the community has the opportunity to make the place that they've chosen to live a better place to be. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done that, you've energized yourself. It's easy to make kindness contagious because then you're moving around the community where there's no shortage of opportunity. And you're moving around a community where people are not saying, get away, but people are saying, come on board. Right. Help us. Right. What would you like to do? I mean, they're literally asking people for ideas and suggestions. Mm -hmm. And with all the creativity in our community and all of the wonderful people who really believe that something better can happen, we hope that through this film screening that we can maybe put a, a comma on the discussion about kindness and say, okay, let's take this in chunks. Here's another opportunity to maybe assess yourself find out what you're doing, find out what's going on in the community, mm -hmm. and then find out how you can be a part of the ongoing process of compassion. And we'll continue to share the who, what, where information, but just so you can go ahead at this point in the interview and put it on your schedule, mark <laughs> your calendar. June 29th, uh, it's going to be held at the Regal Cinemas in Hollywood, the Hollywood Stadium 18 is as, mm -hmm. as it's known, uh, 7 to 9 p.m. And um, you're going to have a little gathering, a little discussion as yeah, well? right. The film will start at 7.30. Between the time of 7 and 7.30, we know people will be coming in. But we want to kind of tell them where this whole thing started. You know, why are we calling ourselves a compassionate city? Because obviously we've got challenges. We've right. got growing pains because our city is growing. Mm -hmm. Everything doesn't always work right. Um, you can look at one story, for example, and think that nobody cares. Right. Or you can get so consumed in your own personal challenges that you think that there's no out and there's no opportunity for help. But our whole purpose is to say that as an aspirational thing, mm -hmm. we know where we are and we also know where we can be. Mm -hmm. So who's on board to help us get there? Mm -hmm. We know you have the resources. We know you have the talent. We know you have the skills. Do you have the commitment? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have what we believe it takes, which is a belief that things can be better, mm -hmm. to really work towards making for a better community? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I thought some people will be asking, well, who should really go see this, this, this film? Uh, I really believe that those in leadership, whatever, whether you're identified by title or it's unidentified leadership, uh, because inclusive leadership really is, one of the keystones is kindness. Uh, we don't think of it in, in those terms uh, often, but when you read books by Lee Iacocca, you read books Bill Gates, and you read different, uh, they have a mentality of coaching. Steve that Jobs. Is, yes, Steve Jobs, yeah. that is inclusive. And, um, and it hinges on kindness, on, on treating people as you would like to be treated. Uh, I think some Sometimes we banter with kindness and nice, mm -hmm. you know, and I sometimes wonder if they ever clash because it would be nice not to have a disagreement, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But the kind thing would be to get understanding. And sometimes you might have to go through difficult things. You and I know you can have a hard conversation, but keep kindness in the forefront so that understanding becomes your filter and then there, there, there is something to be gained. Mm -hmm. And so I, I especially think that those in leadership you know, definitely you, you want to um, get this information and impart it to your people. Yeah. 
I was looking at, and I love tapping into, you know, your, your background in psychology and, and, and that as a counselor, you know, what are the benefits of kindness, mm. right? So I was reading an article from Huffington Post, one of the, uh, a doctor who, uh, Dr. David Hamilton, who worked in organical chemistry. He actually developed drugs for people who had cardi cardiovascular disease and those types of things. Now he teaches people the link between mind and body, mm -hmm. which is very important if you've ever had to deal with healing and the cancer centers will tell you this all the time and I thought it was interesting because on his top five he talked about kindness and he said one it just makes us happier beings mm. and when you as an individual are happy you're going to make those in your immediate sphere and then your outer world happy it is the ripple effect it's mm. contagious healthier hearts mm that it actually does have scientific proof about the, the state of being of our hearts. Two thumbs up on that. You know, yeah. we want healthy hearts. Yeah. Um, that it slows aging. And you know, I <laughs> often wonder, and I, I don't want to categorize everybody, but you know, you wonder sometimes about people who don't have a kind disposition, who are really cranky and mean. And it kind of shows everywhere. Really and does. you know, his, his, um, his statement was about how everything has energy. And so it manifests in our body, mm. whether stress and this and that. And so kindness, if kindness elevates mm. our, our, uh, our physicality, our physiology, then it makes sense that, you know, to operate in the reverse mm. of kindness would also mm. <laughs> reap the, <laughs> some benefits you probably don't want. Right. Um, that it uh, fosters healthier and stronger relationships, mm. which I think is a no brainer because if you're kind, you, basically you'll receive kind back. But I love there's a tagline in the movie about nice guys finishing last. Mm. You remember in the trailer, mm -hmm. they talk about that, like how do you resolve that whole thing? Nice guys finish last. Mm. You know, so I'm interested to see how they balance the nice and kind uh, thing. And then lastly, he says, it is contagious. Mm. So it's not just what you're doing for yourself when you operate in a spirit of kindness, but it's also what you're now giving out to your community, your family, people you care about, and then your community. Yeah. You know, if you want to place that that is thriving beyond your immediate world we've got to put that out there we've got to give for exchange what you want back right? yeah. so you know a smile I think of it this way a smile can melt away the winter of our emotions when we think about anger and frustration and irritation it is very hard to be in the presence of somebody who is casting joy and gladness and being nice to you and still have that kind of hard cranky exterior going on now I know times when I've been in a situation where I was perhaps unhappy about something. Uh huh, haven't we all? And yeah, and I kind of fought back. You know, it's kind of rebuking the spirit of kindness. Right. Yeah. And you feel that. You know, it's almost like the very thing that's trying to push against that, that awful new, um, negative, right. bad feeling that is actually, as you said, perhaps having detrimental effects on you, is actually for your own good. Mm -hmm. And so as we come into that environment where people are treating one another nicely, it's hard not to be. Uh, impacted by that and it's hard not to somehow make that a part of your legacy as well. Yeah, I was uh, thinking about how uh, in the trailer they talk about the fight or flight you know, uh, syndrome where you're operating in a certain part of your brain when you're in a certain area of your emotions. It makes it hard to think and filter. Uh, that's why when people, you know, you, things escalate, mm. you know, whether it's road rage or this or that, and you think, well, how did it get from zero to, you know, a hundred that fast? Um, because you're not thinking anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't think. Um, kindness, I think, also, if you just put that filter in the front, because we've all been there, like, oh, yeah. no judgment, kidding. We've all, we've, all, <laughs> we've all had a bad moment, right? But something about saying, can I get out of this with kind? And sometimes mm -hmm. you just have to, if you don't have anything nice to say, say nothing at all, mm -hmm. just keep the smile. Mm -hmm. Because you know the atmosphere changes right. just by what you bring into the situation. And we all know people, when they come into a room, they either bring that energy and spirit of lightness mm -hmm. and kindness, and everyone feels open and connected, mm. or you can feel very shut down, this very hard, cold, kind of, mm, you know, and it makes everybody, it puts everybody on edge. Yeah. So when you look at how that can affect just a room, think about how that affects a community. Oh, wow. You know, the other thing I know um, from my journalist years is that there are more good stories out there than we are often told, mm. uh, just based on exposure. Mm. 
So this is a great opportunity um, for the city to share, you know, those ways that things like this are making a difference. That's um, right. it, it, you know, often people will laugh, well, why are we spending time doing that? Why are we spending money doing that? You know, as we prepare to wrap up, what's your heartbeat on, not just from your, your office and multicultural affairs, but just as your heartbeat of, of, of understanding behavior and, and everything about why this really is a key time in our country, in our, in our community, to, to grab hold of the, the gems of wisdom that can come from this movie? Well, you know, it's hard to walk away from a newscast, the average newscast today, and not feel depressed, uh, to feel hopeless, to feel some deep uh, point of despair in one's life. Uh, even as a trained mental health professional with a very strong spiritual grounding, um, I walk away sometimes wondering, you know, mm -hmm. how can I help? Right. What's next? And um, can it get any worse than this? You know, so just witnessing that has a profoundly um, significant impact on people's lives. Kindness has the same capacity to shift that discussion, to shift what we feel, to shift what we believe. And I describe myself sometimes to a fault as an eternal optimist mm. because I have to be. I have to believe that something's going to be better. Because right. if I woke up every morning believing that something was going to get worse, or something was going to always be as bad as it might be at that moment. It could be my finances, my education, my relationship, anything, sure. my, my job situation. Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse. Imagine being in that situation where, where your expectation is that what is now, which is pretty bad, is only going to get worse. And then imagine what that would be like if your belief system was challenged to the point that now you believed. Mm -hmm. And I believe that what we, what we literally believe, we find. So then our life becomes a search for those things that are positive, those things that are hopeful, right. those things, those people mm -hmm. that share those same values among us. And when we have that type of thing happening, we have the best possible outcome for oneself, for one's home, for one's community. And I know many psychologists also believe you, you, if you look, whatever you're looking for, you're going to find it. Absolutely. So if you start looking for more kindness, you may find it. If you start giving more kindness, you will find it. Uh, kindness is contagious. It's the film screening, and, and it's for a set group of folks, so you'll need to go online to get your tickets. It's Monday, June the 29th at Regal Cinemas Hollywood Stadium 18 from 7 to 9 p.m. Where do they go online to get tickets? Uh, we'll go ahead and post that okay. online. Um, yep. Gather Films, G A T. HR films. They can find it there, of course. Um, and uh, you'd have to put in Kindness is Contagious, Huntsville. Right. Uh, but we'll make sure that everybody can get a link to that. Great. Looking forward to it. And, right. and even if you don't make it in, say there's a rush on tickets, we still challenge you to make kindness a part of your personal mantra because you still can make a difference. Thanks so much for joining us and telling us all about the Kindness is Contagious project.